your alarm menu. This is where you would set up if you're using any alarm contacts. You would choose a particular alarm that you would like to set up. Okay, you would enable the alarm. If it is disabled, again, everything is grayed out, so there is no changes. You cannot make any changes to the menu. Once enabled, it will highlight for you. There is a log kept, so you can search by alarms. Okay, you would set up your alarm output and your output type, along with the, the duration. Under the output type, you have timeout, permanent, transparent, and transparent and timeout. Again, you have the options of having a buzzer and email notification sent to you anytime alarm one may be triggered. You would choose your input types. Your input types are you normally open and you normally closed. And then you can go ahead and name that particular alarm underneath your input type. Okay, underneath that you have your active camera. You can choose which active camera you would like for that particular alarm. And then underneath there you have your PTZ preset. Okay, you can have the alarm trigger connected to your PTZ for the PTZ preset to be triggered when that alarm is triggered if using the PTZ camera. And then underneath that you have your main monitor again for no change or full screen. If using full screen anytime alarm one is triggered it would jump to full screen notifying you that there was an alarm. If left at no change there will be no change to the main monitor. Okay, under your event, you have your four different notification events. You have your fan failure, your hard drive temperature, your hard drive failure, and your hard drive fold. By choosing each event, it gives you options underneath. Okay, so for instance, first under fan failure, if there is a fan failure to the Equicore DVR, you do have the option of having a log kept, a buzzer being enabled, and an alarm output being sent along with an email notification letting you know that there is a fan failure. Under your hard drive temperature, you could set your temperature warning limit to a particular temperature, 131, 140, or 149 degrees. Okay, we'll set ours to 140. So if the, D, the hard drive inside the eCore DVR were to reach 141 degrees, I now have the option of, one, keeping a log, two, having a buzzer, be uh, sounded off to let me know that it has reached the warning limit temperature. I can also have an email notification sent to me, and I also even have the power of stop recording. Okay, By having the stop recording button checked, that's saying once it reaches 141 degrees, the DVR will shut the hard drive off so it stops recording, so it will not overheat and possibly burn out the hard drive. Under hard drive failure, if the, the hard drive itself does fail, Okay, you have the option of keeping a log, a buzzer being sounded. Okay, you can set your alarm output and an email notification being sent to you. And then under your hard drive full, again, the hard drive full would be used if you're not using your disk overwrite feature. Okay, so if you do not have it, the, the eCore set up for the hard drive to overwrite itself, under the hard drive full event, you can have a log or uh, a log kept every time the hard drive fills up, a buzzer sound to let you know that the hard drive is filled, so you can manually go in, view the information you need to, and then erase the hard drive. Okay, an email notification sent to you, 